Hello and welcome to Verdict 2015, our election special bulletin where we get you all news and updates from poll-bound Bihar and also get you news analysis. Let us begin with this morning's election headlines. Prime Minister to address four rallies in Bihar today, likely to meet poll managers and core group to review poll strategy. Congress Vice President clashes out at Prime Minister Modi during Bihar rally, says the union government has failed to fulfil its election promises. Trouble mounts for Akbaruddin Uwesi. Police issue arrest warrant against the AIMM leader. Uwesi accused of calling Prime Minister a tyrant and a devil. And we throw the spotlight on Sheikh Pura today, where basic infrastructure is a major concern for the people of the district. The top story, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be addressing four rallies in poll-bound Bihar today. The Prime Minister will address the rallies in Munger, Nawada, Samastipur and Begusarai. Now, all the constituencies in these districts uh, will be going to polls on 12th of October, the first phase of elections uh, to the 243-seat assembly. The Prime Minister is likely to make a night halt in Patna today and meet BJP's Bihar-associated poll managers and core group to review the electoral strategy and assess the situation. All right, uh, Mr. Nikhil Anand, who's a senior journalist, is now joining us live uh, Good morning, Mr. Anand, and thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning. Uh, now, sir, Prime Minister is going to break his own record by addressing close to 30 rallies in poll-bound Bihar, uh, leaving no doubt that the Prime Minister has made these polls a prestige issue. Yeah, Ashwarya, of course, Prime Minister, and not only the Prime Minister, uh, Prime Minister's prestige is, is at a stake, but whole BJP, Hmm. is uh, seriously campaigning and not leaving any uh, stone unturned to uh, let the opposition parties any uh, scope hmm. to take the lead in this election. Uh, Three-way strategy uh, BJP has planned on one way, hmm. uh, on one side mega uh, campaign by Prime Minister and around more than 35 rallies have been planned uh, by the Prime Minister. And other side, the, uh, half of the union ministers are camping in different parts of Bihar to campaign for the party leaders. Uh, on third side, uh, BJP uh, state leaders, uh, at least around 25, 20 to 25 rallies in different part and, uh, parts of Bihar and constituencies are uh, taking place. And some of the leaders, key leaders of BJP, like Dharmendra Pradhan and uh, Kailash Vijayvargiya, they are sitting uh, and closely monitoring the every uh, happening uh, in different constituencies and doing a crisis management. And uh, of course, the war room and uh, the secret confidential team of BJP is pumped into uh, taking action. Uh, so I think uh, BJP has put everything uh, uh, into uh, this election and uh, I think it will really be tough uh, for the masses and the uh, Lalu Nitish duo to uh, uh, counter the BJP strategy. Yeah. Mm. Mr. Anand, as far as BJP is concerned, do you, don't you think that it is the rural votes uh, that actually hold the key for the party because rural vote could split down based on caste and the arithmetic logic and uh, any wave in rural Bihar will actually determine outcomes here. Yeah, of course, Eswarya, basically uh, three uh, vote banks, uh, community vote banks are easily visible uh, where they are voting and actively participating in this election. Like upper caste votes are simply going uh, towards NDA and OBC, Yadav, Kurmis and uh, votes are simply with the uh, Mahagat Bandhan mm. as well as the minority votes are simply uh, siding with the Lalu Nitish. But uh, two important key vote banks uh, where the stake of BJP and Mahagat Bandhan lies and where these votes shift uh, actually uh, will be the deciding factor uh, in decision making who will form the government. Like uh, one is uh, uh, Ati Pichra 
extremely backward classes uh, like Nisad, Dhanuk, uh, Chandravansi, Kahar community. Uh, these communities are very important for Nitish Kumar as well as in the last 10 years he has given 20% reservation to these communities mm -hmm. in three-tier panchayati system. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are so many uh, welfare schemes has been launched by Nitish Kumar. Mm -hmm. uh, they voted largely and in block for Nitish Kumar in 2010 assembly election. But in 2014 Lok Sabha election, just because of uh, uh, Narendra Modi uh, projecting him, himself as a EBC leader, uh, EBC uh, community leader, they largely voted for uh, Narendra Modi. But uh, it will really be interesting how they are siding with which party and how much votes uh, BJP uh, between BJP and the Mahagathbandhan is decided. Mm -hmm. On another side, Mahadalit segment, mm -hmm. the Dalit segment overall is very interesting uh, in the sense that BJP has uh, uh, BJP has two important leaders, Ram Bilas Paswan and Jitan Ram Manji. Mm -hmm. uh, they are actively campaigning for the BJP uh, NDA uh, mm -hmm. side. And Nitish Kumar especially formed Mahadalit mission and he launched several schemes uh, for, of welfare uh, mm. among these communities like uh, transistor, uh, dress, scholarship. And there are so many schemes uh, launched by Nitish Kumar. So mm. Nitish Kumar's stake and especially Mahagathbandhan's stake lies with the EBC as well as uh, these Dalit community. And if they uh, side with Nitish Kumar, which largely uh, forms the vote bank among the rural areas. Mm. So uh, it will really be interesting to see how EBC and Dalit vote banks uh, uh, decide to vote for which party. But and but one thing I would like to add that these yeah. communities votes mm. are largely uh, silent in Bihar. Uh, most of the uh, uh, it is not visible and it is not possible to mm. simply assess mm. whom they are voting exactly. because they are simply a subaltern community and uh, the dominant communities are actively participating in this election and facing the uh, local conflict and wars at a social level they are largely silent yeah yeah but don't you think that this is e you talk about the ebc vote uh, but don't you think that this EBC in general is not a cohesive unit. There are a number of individual castes in this and they are likely to behave differently as far as voting pattern is concerned. Yeah, uh, that's why uh, both the uh, alliances, they have uh, projected some leaders. But uh, uh, they are like Dhanuk community leaders as well as uh, the Chandravansis. Mm. Uh, so uh, they have worked really uh, seriously mm. both the uh, alliance have worked uh, and by giving and projecting mm. leaders and candidates from each of these communities mm. but the, it is really uh, just mm. simply by putting a candidate mm. doesn't decide that uh, uh, a large chunk of these community votes will go to these parties mm. uh, but uh, I see that uh, uh, there is a big conflict among these communities. Mm. Uh, in course of time, in last 10 years of Nitish rule, mm. EBC's aspiration are simply, uh, 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 they are aspiring to reach to parliament and assemblies after uh, they have got a 20% share in uh, uh, panchayati, three-tier panchayati system. Okay. As well as uh, these community leaders are not very vibrant, very aggressive in these uh, elections. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, BJP, the key leaders uh, of mainly Lalu, Nitish and uh, Sushil Kumar Modi, they are uh, managing these leaders at a local level to influence mm. the vote bank. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, so PM Modi has lined up a rally blitzkrieg. It, uh, the camp is trying its uh, best to woo the voters. But we'll also be talking about uh, the other camp as well. Uh, Mr. Anand, you stay with us. We'll just come back to you. Meanwhile, adding to the flood of uh, poll rhetoric in Bihar on Wednesday was Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi. Will Rahul address a rally in Sheikhpura district of Bihar where he launched a scathing attack on Prime Minister Narendra Modi? Modi ji, you 
कि हिंदुस्तान के बाहर बहुत सारा काला धन है उस काले धन को वापस लाऊंगा और हर गरीब व्यक्ति हर हिंदुस्तान के व्यक्ति के बैंक अकाउंट में मैं पंद्रह लाख रुपए डालूंगा यह उनका वायदा था मैं आपसे एक सवाल पूछना चाहता हूं इस मीटिंग में कोई ऐसा व्यक्ति है जिसके बैंक अकाउंट में पंद्रह लाख रुपए मोदी जी ने डाले Addressing a rally in Sheikhpura district of Bihar, Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi targeted Prime Minister Narendra Modi on failing to keep his election promises. According to him, the Modi government is not bothered about the poor people. Derozgari ki baat hoti hai, desh ko aage badane ki baat hoti hai. To yahan jo yuva aaya hai, usse baat nahi karenge. Kisan se baat nahi karenge, mazdoor se baat nahi karenge. Kis se baat karenge? पुंजापति से बात करेंगे जिसको दर्द हो रहा है उसकी बात नहीं सुनेंगे उसको सिर्फ अपने मन की बात बताएंगे द थर्टी मिनट लॉन्ग स्पीच ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड ट्रेडमार्क टोर्स अबाउट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एज फॉरन विजिट आप देख लो मोदी जी की जितनी भी फोटो आपको दिखाई देंगी उसमें आपको फटे कपड़े वाला कोई नहीं दिखाई देगा उसमें आपको बड़े बड़े उद्योगपति दिखाई देंगे बड़े बड़े ब्यूरोक्रेट दिखाई देंगे अमेरिका से अलग अलग लोग दिखाई देंगे फेसबुक का कोई दिखाई देगा इंस्टाग्राम का कोई दिखाई देगा गूगल का यूट्यूब का दिखाई देगा मगर हिंदुस्तान का किसान हिंदुस्तान का मजदूर हिंदुस्तान का गरीब हिंदुस्तान का कमजोर नहीं दिखाई देगा ड्रॉइंग अ कंपेरिजन बिटवीन मोदी एंड बिहार चीफ मिनिस्टर नीतीश कुमार ही सेड नीतीश इज अ लीडर ऑफ द मॉसिस एंड एक्सप्रेस कॉन्फिडेंस दैट द ग्रांड अलायंस विल विन अंडर हिम A belligerent Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi fired yet another salvo at the BJP and rigged up the suit boot ki jibe. Giving pep talk to the party workers, Rahul Gandhi tried to drive home the point that the Grand Alliance was pro-farmer and pro-poor, and if it formed the government in Bihar, then the voices of the poor and the weak would be heard. Reporting from Rohtas with camera person Sudhanshu, I am Kriti Mishra for Rajya Sabha Television. All right, let's go back uh, to Mr. Anand. Mr. Anand, now this election is uh, very interesting because this election is going to test, perhaps for the first time, the importance that the voters attach to the compatibility of coalition partners. Because Mahagad Bandhan here is a coalition of actually incompatible, so that is a crucial test. Yeah, of course. Uh... Uh, it's a crucial test for uh, mahagat bandhan mm -hmm. and uh, the all the leaders of mahagat bandhan like mm -hmm. nitish kumar uh, lalu prasad yadav and leaders of congress they are campaigning all alone just to cover uh, maximum constituencies and uh, they are simply uh, trying to garner maximum votes and influence uh, larger chunk of electorates but uh, uh, i see a kind of uh, apprehension in uh, uh, putting a compact face uh, by uh, their cadres and workers mm -hmm. is uh, a bit of a point of apprehension and these leaders are also worrying that uh, if their leaders are um, having a conflict kind of thing at a ground level mm -hmm. uh, their vote uh, voting pattern will simply be influenced and can go negative mm -hmm. uh, so uh, they are also working uh, Uh, the war room of uh, jdu is planning a micro level strategy to reach uh, the workers at the ground level mm. so that any kind of confusion and any kind of conflict mm. can be shed and uh, just a some day some day back a uh, micro level strategy is simply being applied by the bjp as well mm. and recently we have seen the, that in aurangabad area two important leaders uh, of bjp uh, like ramadhar singh and local mp uh, sushil kumar singh they were into a uh, big conflict and and things were going out of hand uh, for the bjp mm -hmm. and uh, simple personally amit shah interfered and managed that both the leaders come on the same dais and works for the party and this way uh, simply uh, and he, uh, like amit shah is organizing uh, several uh, Uh, workers meet uh, region wise workers meet uh, mm -hmm. to influence and 
energize the workers and cadres mm. and same way simply uh, uh, jdu especially mm. uh, their war room uh, war room is pumped into uh, uh, working for the and uh, collaboration of uh, Uh, their workers and their cadres mm. and uh, the way uh, jdu is uh, planning things mm. i see that there is a different kind of uh, other than the mega campaigns and everything uh -huh. a different kind of a strategy is being applied at a micro level at a ground level okay. and uh, the voting pattern at a ground level how the social conflict uh, can be uh, garnered into votes Mm. by these parties uh, uh, and lalu and nitish is simply trying to put things mm. uh, like obc versus the upper caste mm. if uh, the theme uh, same thing is applied mm. and managed into votes mm. uh, the voting pattern can uh, be influenced by mahagathbandhan in a great way okay. but i see uh, bjp uh, is uh, trading very cautiously hmm. and uh, bjp is targeting 20% of youth votes first time voters and that's why pm uh, uh, has planned around 35 to 40 rallies mm -hmm. in uh, all the in the complete election right so, so uh, i think if uh, a youth vote turns into voting for the bjp mm -hmm. uh, that will make a change so uh, here here we see a sharp so conflict yeah. between the voting pattern and every party is the way every mm. party is working mm. hard at a micro and macro level uh, it is really uh, uh, at this juncture uh, it is so really grass, tough to predict yeah. so the grassroots uh, i don't see any party taking important. a big lead mm -hmm. in this election yes so the grassroots work is very yeah. important by both uh, the uh, the the camps that we are talking about Uh, but also, Mr. Anand, now this election will also be uh, decided by the relative uh, strength of the spoilers, the likes of AIMM. Uh, there we have Papu Yadav. We have the third front. Uh, now these spoil these spoilers are capable of uh, spoiling the Mahagathbandhan's chances of getting a majority on its own. you are right ashwarya basically uh, mahagathbandhan leaders were simply uh, not uh, it was not visible but insiders say that they are very cautious about the prospects of hmm. third alliance like ncp uh, samajwadi party uh, hmm. samras samaj party led by nagmani uh, the son of uh, jagdev prasad uh, otherwise uh, as well as uh, Uh, the OSC factor, but uh, simply uh, their chances of uh, cutting into the votes hmm. uh, were shaped when uh, OSC decided to contest only on six, six seats, seats uh, yes. rather than contesting on 35, 40 seats. Hmm. Uh, first thing uh, which helped uh, RJD alliance, uh, and the second thing that uh, uh, RJD and Nitish Kumar. Mm. both uh, rjd and jdu is planning in such a way mm. that they have especially pumped their machineries as well as they are campaigning uh, in a vast way in koshi area where pappu yadav can influence the votes so uh, they are planning in such a way just to scuttle any chances of uh, their votes being cut into and uh, uh, for the uh, their votes uh, being shifted to third party all right so uh, this way i think as the election closes mm. uh, comes near mm. the election date uh, still 4 uh, 5 days uh, to first phase mm. uh, i see that votes are voters will surely be polarized in such way mm -hmm. and it is simply a two way contest okay. but i see that uh, with reference to the last election 2010 election uh -huh. uh, we see that around 70 uh, seats were decided by a vote margin of 400 to 7000 votes uh -huh. in such a way if uh, 3000 4000 votes hmm. are cut by uh, these uh, spoilers hmm. uh, it will make a big difference for the party like mahagathbandhan hmm. and another thing that uh, i see that uh, the way bjp is planning right. and propagating things uh, uh -huh. bjp is simply Uh, uh the this beef issue they have uh, simply uh, tried to make beef issue a big one just to uh, counter the reservation right. uh, thing being propagated by nitish lalu right, so we see that there is a um, uh, 
con- uh, there is a planning by both the alliance hmm. just to promote this caste and communal issue to influence the voters All right, and so- simply a small margin of vote being cut by third party like OSC or uh, mm-hmm. even uh, Pappu Yadav and uh, Samajwadi party mm. or NCP alliance right. this will make a big difference so parties are right. simply so the vote cost, uh, are going trading to make very a... cautiously and yeah. they are uh, they are not leaving uh, any stone and turn to yes. give anyone any chance Absolutely. Yeah. So as the battle of Bihar is uh, nearing its uh, decisive stage, all the parties in the fray, uh, fray are uh, putting their best uh, foot uh, forward. But will it uh, translate into votes? Uh, that is to be seen. Thank you so much, Mr. Anand, for joining us this morning and sharing your perspective on that story. Meanwhile, BJP President Amit Shah addressed a rally in Bihar's uh, Surya Graha constituency of Munge district. Now, counting, uh, continuing with the attack on the Grand Alliance, Shah said that he is confident of India's victory in the Bihar polls. He also spoke of uh, Modi's development agenda for the state. And AIMIM's Telangana lawmaker Akbar Udin Uvesi faces arrest for his alleged provocative remarks at an election rally last week in Bihar. Now, at the rally, he had also allegedly made derogatory remarks about BJP leaders, including Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The local police, which booked Oasi under various sections of the Indian Penal was ordered to arrest him. Now, Oasi's party is contesting six of the 20 seats in the Simanchal region that has a substantial Muslim population. <laughs> किया गया था जनसभा में अपने भाषण के दौरान उनके द्वारा कुछ आपत्तिजनक शब्दों का इस्तेमाल किया गया था ये आरोप कोचाधामन विधानसभा क्षेत्र के द्वारा एक प्राथमिकी दर्ज कराया गया और उसके आधार पर प्राथमिकी दर्ज किया गया था उसमें अनुसंधान के क्रम में उनके विरुद्ध लगाए गए आरोप सही पाए गए थे और अगली कार्रवाई करने के लिए उनकी गिरफ्तारी की कार्रवाई भी होगी ये मामला मुझे जहाँ तक लगता है ये एक सियासी साजिश का काम है ये राजनीतिक एक षडयंत्र है और उसका मकसद सिर्फ ये है कि सीमांचल के इलाके में मजलिस इतहादलमसलम जो इलेक्शन में हिस्सा ले रही है और उसके नेता इलेक्शन में हिस्सा लेने के लिए और कंपेन करने के लिए आ रहे हैं तो ये साजिश की गई है कि उनको इलेक्शन में हिस्सा न लेने दिया जाए किसी को इलेक्शन कमीशन को नज़र रखनी चाहिए किसी को भी किसी तरह का उन्माद चुनाव विकास के मुद्दे पे चुनाव लॉ एंड ऑर्डर के मसले पे चुनाव तरक्की के मामले पे होना चाहिए News, views, reports and analysis you can trust on social media. Subscribe, follow, like Rajya Sabha Television. Improvement in the condition of roads is uh, touted as one of the prominent achievements attributed to the JDU administration in Bihar. But how far is this true? Has the situation improved uniformly in the state? Well, our correspondent Pranav Goswami visited Sheikhpura and found out that there are many gaps in this claim. Sheikhpura ranks among the most backward districts in Bihar. Joblessness, poor education facilities, endless electricity cuts are endemic. But towering above all these problems are the bad roads. People in remote areas can't reach the district headquarters. Not that the roads are any better in Sheikhpura. 
The broken roads make it an ordeal to cover even short distances. Puddles in rainy season make it an endless invitation to disaster. रोड का बहुत दिक्कत है गाड़ी में पब्लिक का भी दिक्कत हो रहा है जाने आने में कचड़ा जमा रहती है जाने में बहुत कठिनाई होती है डेली के डेली गाड़ी फंस जाती है सड़कों को लेकर तो इतनी बुरी हालत है कि यहाँ से बुरी हालत कहीं का है ही नहीं शेखपुरा हैज बीन द जे डी यूज बेस्टियन इन द ट्वेंटी टेन इलेक्शन द पार्टी वन बोथ असेंबली सीट है बट पोलिटिकल पार्टी इज नेवर फाउंड इट वर्थ वायल टू इन्वेस्ट इन रोड रिपेयर एंड नाउ इन इलेक्शन सीजन दे आर बिजी ब्लेमिंग ईच अदर फॉर द प्रॉब्लम जहाँ पिछले दस वर्ष पहले कुछ काम नहीं था आवाज काफी काम हुआ है तो उस दिशा में हम लोगों का काफी काम हुआ है और नीतीश जी की जो सरकार रही उससे पूरा पहले और अब में काफी अंतर है जहाँ रोड नहीं थे सभी जगहों गांव गांव में रोड है एक आध अपवाद कहीं होगा जो छुटा हुआ है विकास एक पैसा हुआ है और निन्यानवे पैसा उसके एवज में भ्रष्टाचार हुआ है इसी कारण है की आज भी स्थिति वही थी जो आज से दस साल पहले थी द रोड लीडिंग टू द स्टेट कैपिटल हैव इम्प्रूव इन बिहार बट वन सेट कनेक्ट द डिस्ट्रिक्स टू द टाउन एंड विलेजेस स्टिल है लॉन्ग वे टू गो द रोड इन शेखपुरा आर प्राइम एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ अफेयर्स प्रणब गोस्वामीज रिपोर्ट फॉर राज्यसभा टीवी एंड इन नोवल अटैम्प्ट द इलेक्शन कमीशन सिलेक्टेड निधि a differently abled girl as the regional icon to motivate voters not through her paintings and her actions nidhi is out on the streets encouraging people to cast their franchise nidhi has been hearing and speech impaired since birth a trained painter she belongs to the kirti village of bodhgaya block Nidhi exercised her franchise for the first time in the 2014 parliamentary election. She represents a tribe of silent voters who are determined their actions will speak louder than any words can. We are correlating her this disability with the voice so that she can come out with the uh, democracy and she can uh, raise her voice and uh, our voters Uh, will follow her to raise their voice there are no official figures about the number of differently abled voters in the state but on polling day nidhi will reach out to them going block to block to motivate them to cast their votes sabhi log ko batana chahte hain ki nidhi ek beti to hai aur beti hone ke bavjood ye bete se bhi aur kahin kafi dur aage nikal gayi hai और आज मैं बहुत प्राउड फील कर रहा हूँ अब भी वो जब पेंटिंग बनाती है तो मैं जाती हूँ और देखती हूँ तुम देख क्या बना रही हो मैं उनसे ही सारे से भी बात करती हूँ मैं बोल बोल करके तुम्हारी आवाज को मैं दुनिया तक पहुँचाऊंगी so, तुम्हारा सहयोग मैं करूंगी हमेशा के लिए और मेरा आशीर्वाद भी इनके साथ है एस्पिरेशन ऑफ द यूथ आर वन ऑफ द मेन इशूज ऑफ द पोल्स इन बिहार एंड इन एन इलेक्शन वेर एवरी वोट विल काउंट निधीज एफर्ट्स विल इंश्योर दैट एवरी वोट इज द डिफरेंटली एबल्ड विल गो टू द पार्टी विच वैल्यू दैम Nidhi has also been a recipient of Chancellor's Gold Medal for her painting acumen. During her visits to other blocks, her paintings would be displayed to encourage and motivate voters. Now it is for the administration to ensure that differently abled voters throng a well-equipped polling booth. At Karate Village in Bihar with camera person Sudhanshu, I am Kriti Mishra for Radhe Sabha Television. Well, that is all in this edition of Verdict uh, 2015. But uh, do watch our afternoon edition as well at 1 p.m. But that is all from the election team at the moment. Thanks so much for your time.